Good morning, beautiful people. How are you guys today? I was, I was teasing Steve Smith. He goes, how are you all today? And I said, you always ask how I am, but you never wait for me to answer. Uh, anyway, just teasing him. I like to tease Steve sometimes. Um, uh, okay, you know, the, the last video, I'm sorry for that crazy crow chorus that was going on. I, they rarely ever go that loud for that long. And then I'm trying to talk about a quiet period and they were just screaming at the top of their lungs. It was crazy. I'm sorry about that. I was going to filter it out. At one point I put a filter on and to denoise it and it still didn't quite denoise it like I wanted to. So, you know, you just go with the flow. That's life, right? You should, it's all, if you don't go with the flow, you can have a hard life sometimes. And sometimes you should not go with the flow. But anyway, um, I'm sitting here, I'm kind of debating on what I'm going to do for my next quilt and crochet projects. I don't, I like making a lot of, now a lot of people don't like crocheted items. Um, and I, there's a lot of them I don't like either. Um, and I have made, I've made tops, crocheted tops. And, you know, they're, they're pretty and they, they, they are comfortable because I made cotton, made them cotton. But the problem is, where I live, everything catches everything. You can't wear a crochet top around here. You can barely wear a crocheted hat. So, um, you know, it's, I have very limited places to wear them. And, uh, you know, I don't like a lot of the cutesy things that they make with them. I don't like, you know, amigurumi, which is, you know, make little animals, crocheted animals. I don't really care for any of that. Um, I like afghans. I like lapgans. And a lapgan is just a smaller afghan for lap size or for throwing over the back of the couch to pull over you when you lay down and you know, take a nap on your couch or something. That's great for that. So are lap quilts. But uh, I'm trying to figure out what to make. And I'm thinking, I used to do it where I had crochet projects and quilt projects going at the same time. So I get sick of one or I get to a point where I'm, I, I'm not doing much good for myself on one. I switch to the other one. And I may do that this winter, especially if it turns out to be a really bad winter. Um, but hey, I just want to ask you guys, what kind of quilts do you like? Do you like uh, small items, do you do you use things like table runners? I, I use table runners all the time. You know, table runners, table toppers, um, bed toppers, lap quilts, uh, which I'll, you know, um, or, you know, the lap, lap began, which is crocheted. Uh, what kind of quilts do you like? Do you like traditional quilts, like the granny squares? You know, you put make a bunch of granny squares and then you assemble them all, which I don't usually like to do. It's not my favorite thing to do. I don't like assembling crocheted items. Um, or do you like like a crochet blanket that, you know, it's, it's basically basically got one really interesting stitch and it's done throughout the whole thing. It makes it have a lot of drape over you. It's it's, it's very cozy to put around you on the couch. Uh, lap quilts, you know, um, do you like lap quilts with, um, I know I'm talking crochet quilt alternately here. Do you like lap quilts or, or any kind of quilt that has a very interesting look to it, a more modern look? Or do you like traditional uh, just traditional quilts, um, old-fashioned quilts. Um, let me know what kind of things you guys like. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm just trying to get ideas about what to do. Sometimes when people tell me, well, I really love this or I really love that, it gives me a direction to go. And a lot of times that's all I need is a direction. So uh, anyway, it's, I hope you enjoyed the fall pictures last time and the video of my poor old Sebastian. <laughs> that sweet boy. Oh, my goodness. He just walks so stiff. Oh my goodness. And he just, and, he, and sometimes if he, if I reach down under his body and when he's standing, I just kind of I rub on him underneath his wings, he just sinks to the ground. And when I, when I pull my hands out, he falls over. <laughs> he just gets into that loving, that, that, that petting. He loves that. I don't think I've ever had a rooster love to be petted as much as that boy does. And I don't bother him when he's out there gardening his girls. Only when he's inside, he's not really on duty per se. So, but I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just, I'll be glad when the next two weeks is over. Then I'll just still be closer. That makes me also closer to my 68th birthday. Oh, you know, where does the time go? It seems like here I am on Sunday. Wasn't it just Sunday? Didn't that just happen after a couple days ago? That's the way I feel about it. I just, uh, there's things I do on Sunday or look forward to on Sunday. And I'm thinking, what the heck? Um, I did find, uh, for you Yellowstone fans, I did watch the first season, a Netflix series called Territory. It's basically Yellowstone in Australia. Um, it stars, one of the stars is uh, from the uh, miniseries Joe Pickett. I don't know if you know Michael Dorman from Joe Pickett. I read the Joe Pickett novels by C.J. Box, and I loved the series, and it got canceled after season three. So, um, 
I, that made me mad, but he, I didn't know Michael Dorman was Australian, honestly. Um, but he's one of the stars. And also, Robert Taylor, who played Longmire, is one of the, oh, his character is bad guy. I mean, he, he's the matri he's the patriarch of this family at a ca the biggest cattle station in the world. But um, I tell you what, these people are more dysfunctional, far more dysfunctional than anybody on Yellowstone, that, than that family, seriously. But it's, it's a very, there's a lot of parallels, very much like Yellowstone. There's a lot of similarities between those. So if you like that kind of show, modern day westerns, and this has got an Australian twist to it, of course, uh, I recommend Territory. Uh, you're not going to like Robert Long, the Longmire character, his, his character in the beginning, or most, th through most of the entire uh, first season. It's, he, he's, he's got issues, let me just say. And, uh, Michael Dorman, who plays, um, Graham, gosh, what's the last name of the family? Um, he's an alcoholic, and he's very much the non-preferred son, kind of like Jamie Dutton, except without the, the education, the, the Ivy League education. Um, and he gets his act straightened out as it goes on. He gets better and better. But um, it's a really good series. So if, if you're, uh, if you don't know about it, Territory is all it's called. And like I said, I watched the entire first season. There's only like six episodes, unless there's more to it coming. Um, that's not. I like the old, the old series when you had every season you had like 20 episodes, and now it's like you're lucky if you get 10. I don't, I don't know how you call that season, but you know, you how you develop a story in six episodes, you just really don't. But, uh, yeah, so uh, there's my recommendation if you like that. Um, it's going to be hard to watch some of it, I'm telling you, <laughs> in some ways. This family is so dysfunctional. But it's, you know, it has a, the same kind of thing. It's a, it's a family who has some financial troubles and, you know, and, and everybody's against them and trying to get their land and that kind of thing. So, uh, anyway. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, the second season of Lioness comes out. That's a Taylor Sheridan series. Um, my problem with the first season of Lioness was, good lord, can anybody talk without dropping the F-bomb three times in one sentence? Uh, that just, I mean, when that's all you got, you need to learn more English. But, um, the, the general idea I like, uh, set in place, it's a military kind of thing, CIA military kind of thing. Uh, so Lioness is coming on starring Zoe Saldana, you know, her from Avatar and other things. Um... So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So that starts today, the second season of Linus. I don't watch a lot of television anymore. I look for series I can binge watch and that I really can get involved in. Um, and they, have, they actually develop the characters. I loathe sitcoms. I can't stand those things. Because now I'm looking at someone's going, that's not funny. You think this is funny? This is not funny. This is pathetic. I'm sorry. That's just the way I feel. That's just me. If you like sitcoms, more power to you. You've got more to watch than I do then on television. But um, that's all I wanted to do, just come out here and tell you, what do you like as far as quilted items? Do you like just whole bed quilts? Do you like uh, slightly smaller uh, uh, lap quilts, either either fairly small, like for a wheelchair or size, or, you know, the kind you can throw over the back of your couch decoratively? Uh, this is the last lap gam that I finished. Not lap gam, sorry, that's crochet. Lap quilt that I finished, the one with the, uh, the, the color gradient one, and it's, here's a picture of it over the back of my couch. Um, or, you know, do you like only bed quilts? Do you like things like, uh, quilted table runners? Uh, those, those are nice. They're easy to make. They're, they don't require a lot of, you know, struggling to push a giant quilt through the throat of the machine, that kind of thing. But, uh, and then just, you know, also the style. Do you like just old fashioned, timey, old timey, old fashioned type patterns? Or do you like something a little bit more striking? Like I did, a, uh, quilt. I think I'll, if I can find it, picture of it, I'll put it up here. It features the God's Eye uh, block, the big God's Eye block medallion in the center, and I'll work out from there. Uh, those are my favorite ones to make because I don't really know how they're going to turn out because every round of, the, of it, I, I make it, I decide what to do as I go. It kind of makes it a mystery to me, too. So, just let me know. That's all. I'm just chatting about that. I'm not going to talk about anything political the next two weeks. Um, I've seen a lot, but I'm not going to talk about a lot of that. I mean, it's, you know, and for reasons I said in my last video. So, neighbor's dog is barking. German Shepherd. Um, I did catch him up here one day. I was not happy. Let's say that. Let me put it that way. Much as I love dogs. So, have a great week. This is Sunday. I hope your week is great. Um, take care, everybody. Just make comment below on some of these questions I asked. 
if, you, if, if I don't say the wrong thing, say lap gin for lap quilt, whatever, then you know you can figure out what I'm talking about. So, bye everybody. God bless. <laughs>